Hello dear students, welcome to our learning program Ready to Learn, produced by Rwanda Education Board in partnership with UNICEF and Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda. These lessons are made so you can do them on your own. My name is Teacher Jane and I teach geography. I know you are at home and that you have been doing some chores to help your parents. It is good to support your parents at home. Today, we are learning geography senior five. Hope you have a pen, a notebook, and a pencil, and a student book if you can get it, or any other resource that will help you during this lesson. Before we break off, we concluded our lessons on map work interpretation, isn't it? Now, individually, can you think of a short summary of what we learned? Can you think of a short summary of what we learned? I will give you 10 seconds. Think about it. Brilliant! We saw the interpretation of physical futures from maps and photographs, the interpretation of human aspects and the relationship between physical and human aspects on maps and photographs. Welcome back. Today, we are going to learn the universe and the solar system. We will have time to explore the universe and the solar system, our mother planet Earth, the moon, and other heavenly bodies. Dear students, I'm sure it is not new to you because we learned about it in the previous years, especially in senior one. Am I lying? That is why I want all of you that for today's lesson, you will be able to define the universe and discuss different components of the universe. You can get our lesson in the student's book, page 145. To start, I'm going to read a short passage for you. Listen to me and answer to the following questions. I'm going to read the questions first. Can you note them down? The first question is, identify the heavenly bodies mentioned in the passage. Identify the heavenly bodies mentioned in the passage. The second question is, using your experience and the passage, identify other components of the universe not mentioned in A. Are you ready for the passage? I start. One of the students in senior one moved outside one evening and all of a sudden saw a running star that disappeared. The moon was fading, being covered by dark clouds. He wondered whether there are moons elsewhere and went back to bed. In the morning, the sunrise with golden rays replaced the dark starry night. Have you got something? I repeat for you. One of the students in senior one moved outside one evening and all of a sudden saw a running star that disappeared. The moon was fading, being covered by dark clouds. He wondered whether there are moons elsewhere and went back to bed. In the morning, the sunrise with golden rays replaced the dark starry night. Do you remember the questions? You will identify the heavenly bodies mentioned in the passage. Then, using your experience and the passage above, you will identify other components of the universe not mentioned in the passage. You did it right. I like it. Heavenly bodies mentioned in the passage are star, moon, and sun, while the components of the universe not mentioned are comets, galaxy, cluster, molecules, and different planets. Thank you. Now, again, 
I want you to think, think, from the answers you have provided, what do you understand by universe? What do you understand by universe? Think and tell us. Very nice. The universe refers to all of space and everything in it. It contains everything that exists from the smallest particles to the largest structures known. Did you know that the exact size of the universe is not known? Sure. The exact size of the universe is not known. Astronomers estimate that it contains about 100 billion galaxy. Imagine 100 billion galaxy. Now, can someone tell us who are astronomers? Who are astronomers? Can you tell us? Yes, astronomers are experts who study bodies in the sky or outer space. Again, from what you know, what do you understand by galaxy? What is a galaxy? Right, a galaxy is a system of stars together with gas and dust. These are held together by forces of gravity. Each of the galaxy has an average of 100 billion stars. Imagine, the origin of the universe is explained through the Big Bang Theory, which happened about 13 billion years ago. I'm sure you remember what is a Big Bang Theory. We saw it in Senior 4. Now, let's look at the components of the universe. As you have highlighted it, the universe contains many components which vary considerably in size. We have the smallest components that are atomic particles, followed by atoms, mostly free hydrogen and helium. We have also molecules, dust, space rocks, comets, asteroids, moon, planets, solar system, star, black holes, and galaxies. Among these components, our solar system is the most known. Do you remember that we belong in the solar system? Great. Now, do you like songs? I'm going to sing for you. Ok. Can I start? Are you ready? Ok. I have seen sun getting in the sea. I have seen sun getting in the sea. I have seen sun getting. Seen sun getting. Seen sun getting in the sea. Do you like it? Do you want me to repeat it? Ok. I have seen sun getting in the sea. I have seen sun getting in the sea. I have seen sun getting, seen sun getting, seen sun getting in the sea. Na wonyi zuwa jinjira munyanja. Na wonyi zuwa jinjira munyanja. Na wonyi zuwa jinjira, zuwa jinjira. Zubar Jinjira Munyanja. Okay, now, can we sing together? Aha, uh -huh, we start. I have seen sun getting in the sea. I have seen sun getting in the sea. I have seen sun getting. Seen sun getting. Seen sun getting in the sea. Now, when you Zubar Jinjira Munyanja. Na wonyi zuwa rjinjira munyanja. Na wonyi zuwa rjinjira. Zuwa rjinjira. Zuwa rjinjira munyanja. Now, can you give me a hug because I'm a good singer? Great. This is also part of our lesson. We are talking of the sun of sea. It's part of our lesson. Now, from the song, I'm going to give you a choice. 
I will tell you the key components of the universe and you will choose one of them and describe it. Think and share with us. I give you galaxy, cluster, stars and the sun, stars and the sun are together, then planets and earth, planets and earth also combined. Choose one of them, think about it, and describe it in your own words. One minute. Excellent. We have the key components of the universe. These are galaxy, cluster, stars and the sun, and planets and the earth. As you have said it, galaxy is a group of billions of stars with gas and dust held together by the same gravitational force. I repeat, galaxy is a group of billions of stars with gas and dust held together by the same gravitational force. The planet Earth is in the Milky Way galaxy that displays a spiral arrangement therefore named spiral galaxy. There are three types of galaxy, namely spiral galaxy, example the Milky Way, the irregular galaxy, and the elliptical galaxy. Three types of galaxy I have said. Spiral galaxy, irregular galaxy, and elliptical galaxy. The second component is cluster. As you have said it, a cluster is a group of the stars which are bound together due to gravitation. The third component, key component of the universe, is stars and the sun. Some of you have said a star is a luminous. Luminous means it gives out light. A star is a luminous heavenly body. A heavenly body that gives out light. Stars have high temperature. The sun, our sun, is also a star. The sun is the luminous heavenly body that emits its own light and it is at the center of the solar system. That is why it is called solar system because the sun is at the center. The sun is the smallest star in the universe. Did you know it? The sun is the smallest star in the universe. However, it is 109 times bigger than planet Earth. Can you imagine? They say that the sun is the smallest star in the universe However, it is 109 times bigger than planet Earth. Its gravitational force keeps planets in their orbital position. All the planets, how many planets that revolve around the sun? How many? Yes. All the eight planets revolve around the sun. The solar system is defined as an arrangement of the sun and the planets that revolve around it, I mean around the sun. The solar system is therefore made up the sun, planets, the moon, and other heavenly bodies such as asteroids, comets, and meteorites. The last but not the least, we have planets and earth. A planet is a heavenly body that revolves around a star. All planets revolve around a star. I would like you to know that the Earth is one of the eight planets of the solar system and it is the only planet where life is possible. It is the third planet from the Sun and it is 93 million a mile from the Sun. It is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. You know that today we have different researches that are being conducted to see if we can get other planets where life is possible. But for now, the only planet where life is possible is planet Earth, our mother Earth. Now, let's reflect on the key highlights of 
our lessons of today as we come to its end. What have we learned today? Take your notebooks and your pens and write in five sentences a summary of what you, you think we have learned today. I will give you one minute. Fantastic! Today, we have learned the universe and its components. We explained the key elements of the universe and looked at different descriptions. We saw that the solar system is the most known component of the universe and that planet Earth is the only planet of the solar system where life is possible. Now, what is next? Who can tell us what is next? Yes, it is time for homework as usual. I'm going to give you a statement. Listen carefully and write it down. It says, I love my universe. Write it. I love my universe. Question A. Explain why we should love our universe. In your own words, explain why we should love our universe. Question B. Suppose that you were asked by your friend to relate the above statement with us. Explain what your answers would be. Suppose that you were asked by your friend to relate the above statement with the earth. Explain what your answers would be. Thank you for tuning in. If you can make a phone call, invite your friend and classmates to follow the lessons of geography on radio. You are with teacher Jen. See you soon.